I wore this dress in a video recently and realized that I had never filmed it for some reason. Best I can tell, I made this a couple of years ago, but either way, I'm here with it today. Before we take a look at all the details of this super cute dress, let me tell you a little bit about the jewelry I'm wearing. Both the earrings and necklace are from Ana Luisa. I've worn their pieces in videos before and I've loved everything I've ever gotten from them. In addition to making stunning jewelry that fits my style, they are also a sustainable company. Crazy, right? Did you know it takes 20 tons of earth mining to produce a single ring of gold? And cheap costume jewelry is rarely recyclable, making it a huge waste. So I love that Ana Luisa uses 100% recycled gold and sterling silver in all of their products. This might sound like it would be expensive, but they eliminate the retail markup for their products, which keeps the prices as fair and accessible as possible. Their jewelry starts at just $49, and each of my pieces costs less than $90 a piece. FYI, big brands can charge up to 10 times the cost of production, but by eliminating this markup, you'll get quality products for way less money. Ana Luisa products come from the same jewelers as Tiffany's and Louis Vuitton, so they are very confident in their quality, so much so that they offer a complimentary one-year warranty on every product, which makes me just feel even better about ordering from them. If anything ever happens, I know that I will be able to have it replaced. In addition to the two pieces that I am wearing now, I also love these Frida earrings. At $49, these make such a statement. I am also obsessed with the Tia medium gold earrings. These hoops are so classic. They will go with absolutely everything. And again, at less than 50 bucks, you cannot go wrong. Finally, Ana Luisa has a whole collection of these layered necklaces that are just so, so beautiful. Obviously, it is the look of multiple necklaces, but all in one. This is kind of really hard to achieve on your own by buying individual necklaces and hoping that the links are correct and hoping that they kind of all go together. These layered necklaces that are an all-in-one, one by one clasp deal are really, really great. Of all the ones that they have, I really, really love the mist set. I just think this mother of pearl kind of statement bauble at the end of the chain mixed with the pearl beaded necklace is just so classic and so pretty. Okay, now for the dress that is highlighting these gorgeous baubles. This is McCall's 7602. And yes, that is a top pattern. But with this waist seam and peplum, it was so easy to hack it into a knee length dress. After lengthening it the proper amount, which for me was a little more than a foot, I had to trim away some of the skirt's width because it was too wide to fit on the fabric. Now, you can fit full circle skirts on fashion fabric, but you have to cut the front and back separately on one layer of fabric, and that just takes up a lot of yardage. I didn't have enough of my fabric to do that. So instead, I kept the waistline the exact same and drew a straight, less angled line from the waist to my new hem, angling it so it just fit into the width of the fabric once it was folded in half. It still gives the skirt all the wonderful qualities of a circle skirt, just minus a little bit of the flare. I made view C because I love a flounce, especially on the neckline like this. The way it drapes is just so pretty and very feminine, which is just my style. I opted to not include the skirt flounce from View D because I figured it would just get lost since I was using just one fabric. If I were color blocking or print mixing though, I would totally have added both flounces. Flounces are a fabric eater upper, but they are so worth it. 
the fabric I used, you might recognize, it was a very popular long-running print at Joanne. It was from the Kathy Davis collaboration they did a few years back. The selvage of the fabric says 2016. I remember it was in the clearance section as recently as last year, though. I triple-checked, and it's no longer available in-store or online. It is a rayon for sure. I'm pretty sure it's a rayon twill. It's definitely a little bit heavier than something like a chalet. You might have even seen some people use this fabric to make pants or shorts. It would have made great drapey paper bag waist shorts. Nonetheless, a rayon twill is great for dresses too. I found something comparable that I think would be so cute made up into this dress. It's this Lyocell and Rayon blend. I think the variegated stripes would make the flounce stand out beautifully, and the skirt, since it's a circle, would not have the stripes running straight up and down. They would angle out the closer you get to the side seam. Can you see how the horizontal stripes on my dress kind of make rainbow shapes? That's solely because of how the skirt is cut. Cool, huh? It's a subtle but interesting design choice. If you'd rather have the stripes be totally vertical, you could convert the circle skirt to a gathered skirt. It just would be less flare and less spin worthy. Some notes on the fit of this pattern. I made this a size too big for some reason, so it's got a, lip, a bit more ease than I'm used to in the bust. For that reason, I had to add a little cam snap to the center front to keep the bodice closed. You've probably seen people use little metal snaps for this same problem, but I find the cam snaps are easier to install, look better on the inside of the garment, and are easier to snap and unsnap. I use them in all my bodysuits as well. To install this one, I placed one side of the cam under the flounce and is totally concealed from the front. This pattern also came out during a time that the big four, especially McCall's, was going through this strange phase where all their garments fit me in the front width-wise, but the backs were way too big by like four inches. The side seams of this dress hit me where they should, indicating the front width is fine. But in the center back where the invisible zipper is, I could easily pinch out a couple of inches. So when the rest of this weight comes off, I'll be sure to rip out the zipper, trim back the center back seam, and reinstall it for a closer fit in the back. And that is everything I can think to tell you guys about this little dress. I've really enjoyed wearing it. It is very comfortable and perfect for this insanely hot summer we appear to be having uh drapey floaty nothing stuck too tight to the body is perfect when it's this hot and humid i can't wait to hear what you guys think please be sure to leave a comment in the comments section below let me know what you think of my new dress and be sure to check out the description box where I have links to the pattern, links to the variegated stripe fabric that I chose, and also a dedicated link to Anna Luisa. Be sure to check out their jewelry, you guys. You will not be disappointed. I have a couple more pieces I'm going to be showing you in the next couple of weeks. I do have a code uh, for 10% off your entire purchase. So when you go to check out at AnnaLuisa.com, use inside the hem one zero for 10% off your entire purchase. And then be sure to let me know what you got. But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.